guys, so today's video is my first back to school video. I am so excited. I just kind of started singing that. I don't know why. But today's video is going to be a college essentials, what to bring and what not to bring. So I just want to point out that my next video is going to be my dorm essentials. So all the essentials that I talk about are not necessarily like dorm essentials. They're more like school college essentials. I did a couple dorm stuff in here. So I will be a senior this year, which is crazy. Now I do need to say I'm graduating college in three years. So it's only my third year going to school. Returning to school is not going to be the same this year. Year. It's really weird. I'm going through it with you guys, but I feel like these things don't change if you're going to be on campus or off campus. And so I wanted to share these things with you guys because I wish I would have watched one of these videos. And to be honest, I probably did. And I probably said, oh, but you don't know me. Like, I do need those things. And let me just tell you, I am like the extra of extra. And I took way too much stuff to school. And I just wish I would have listened to this video now when I was going to college. Before we get started, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. If you guys could please like this video, it would help me so, so much. I've got tons of more college videos coming and back to school videos. And I like to vlog and I like to talk about my faith on here as well. If I talk about anything, I will have it linked down below for you guys as always. And with all that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so like I said, I was very, very extra. Like I am the most extra girl when it comes to, oh, I need everything to look perfect. I need to have this stuff. I need to have this stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know that you can trust me on this, that you really don't need these things and you really do need these things. I'm going to start with the essentials that you do need to bring. Again, I'm going to be doing a different video on like specific dorm things. I'm actually filming it right after this. So it will be up very soon. So you can subscribe if you want to see that coming. Okay. So the very first thing that guys, you don't think that you'll need, but you really do is rain boots, an umbrella, and a rain jacket. Guys, I did not think that I would really need all those things. I only brought a rain jacket. I did not bring an umbrella and I did not bring rain shoes, rain shoes, rain boots, whatever. So these rain boots, I actually got them for Christmas, but what I love about these is that you can dress them up. They are super, super cute. I know that they have one similar to this at Target. They literally look just like this. I got these for Christmas. They're Michael Kors, but I just want to say we got them from Marshalls. You can dress these up or you can dress them down and they still look cute with leggings and a t-shirt, which is what I really like about them. So the next thing that you will definitely need is sweatshirts, t-shirts, and cardigans. And please listen to me. If you were anything like me when I was in high school, guys, I dressed up every single day for high school. You would not see me in leggings or a t-shirt unless, you know, like I had a soccer game that day and we were required to wear like our soccer t-shirts. Um, but I dressed up every single day just because I really enjoy that. I love, you know, putting cute things together, but college comes and people would tell me, oh, you won't dress up for school every day. I was like, yes, I would. And guys, you literally don't. And I struggled with this because I don't want to look like I just rolled out of bed. That's not me. One of my favorite things to do is I would always have my hair somewhat done. Like I wouldn't look like I just rolled out of bed, but I would not wear makeup all the time. Um, but something that really helped me was actually wearing a cardigan. And honestly, you can wear leggings, a t-shirt, and a cardigan like this, and it just makes you look a little bit more presentable. Again, there's nothing wrong with wearing leggings and a t-shirt. I did that all the time. But I found that whenever I wore a cardigan, I definitely felt a little bit more done up, and I would also always wear jewelry. That's another thing. All right, the next thing on my list is medicine. Guys, you need like a little tiny tub of a first aid kit kind of deal. Like you need band-aids, you need night quill, day quill, allergy medicine. At least for me, I live in the South and in Tennessee, the allergies are terrible. And I never felt like I had to go to the store and get things because thankfully my mom made a little tiny thing full of medicines. And I also felt like I had plenty of medicine for other people, whether it was ibuprofen, pamperin, because your period doesn't stop when you get to college. Okay. And you got to take care of yourself and it is terrible. Okay. The next thing is literally like my number one thing on the list and it's a Yeti. If you drink coffee, you need a Yeti because once you head out of your dorm, you're normally out for most of the day, at least from um, early in the morning until lunch if you do morning classes and most freshmen have 8 a.m.s. Sorry, it stinks, but we all had to do it. They're great. They're easy to clean. They kept my coffee warm all day, which was exactly what I wanted and I loved it. And sometimes I would even go to Starbucks on campus and get a drink and pour it in my Yeti. If you guys have seen my vlogs, you know it is always in the vlogs. There's never a vlog without a Yeti. All right, the next essential that I have is actually, I said a Yeti was my number one, but when it comes to school, 
because that's what we're all going to college for is actually school. Guys, you cannot go wrong with having a planner. If you are not disciplined about having a planner, I would highly recommend becoming disciplined, especially because it's a lot different than high school. Your professors give you a syllabus and they say, okay, this is when all your assignments are due. Once you get your syllabus, write everything down in your planner. I've got specific vlogs if you want to check those out about how I write things in my planner and especially with a lot of colleges going online now or at least mostly online I would highly recommend getting a planner because online classes you don't have the teacher to remind you some teachers are nice and they'll tell you like hey guys don't forget about the paper coming up um, but online you just don't have that and it creeps up on you so you definitely need a planner this one's from Target I'll have my favorite ones linked down below and something to go along with the planner is having colored pens guys this has saved my life so the reason that I use colored pens is because each class I have has a specific color so that way I can just write like hey homework due like I don't need to write anything specific but I see the color it registers with my brain and I know that I've got homework due in that class here is an example of what my planner looked like like, that is like the biggest thing that will help you survive college. I don't know how people don't use planners. The next essential, and this one is actually for your dorm, but the next essential is a Brita filter. Guys, this is so important because the water is really gross and it's just better to be able to have a Brita filter. They're not that expensive and if you have roommates and you guys share a kitchen, then I would highly recommend just all of you guys pitching in for one. So that brings me to my next essential, which is a water bottle and this is where the Brita filter comes in handy because you can just pour it in here. You can also keep the Brita filter in a fridge which helps you have cold water because I guarantee you most college dorms don't have the nice little thing where the fridge, you know, you can get filtered water out of it. That doesn't happen in college. And this is just my favorite water bottle. I never drink water. I struggle with drinking water, but for some reason with a Camelback, I think it's the straw, um, I drink a lot more water. So my next recommendation is some sort of keychain wallet. I took all my cards out of this one so that, you know, nobody would be stealing my information, but I actually got this little tiny wallet as a gift one year and it didn't come with the hole right here. I put a hole in there so that I could put it on my keys. This is where I would keep my student ID, my license, and my debit card because you always need those things on campus. You never know when you're gonna need to buy something and you always need your student ID on you. I used to actually have a wallet on the back of my phone right here as well, but I tend to leave my phone places. So I stopped doing that and I put it on my keys because I started driving to class and I just needed my keys anyway. So the next thing that I have that you might not think about is sunglasses. Walking around campus, it can be really far and it's nice to have sunglasses on. And also just for your other activities, you're gonna be driving sometimes, you're gonna be walking around, you're gonna be hanging out with your friends on the weekend and having sunglasses is an essential. Okay, so this next little essential, it's not really that tangible and it's having a discipline. And I think this is really, really big because in college you're completely on your own. You don't have people reminding you to do things. You don't have your mom saying, hey, clean your room. Like you have to do everything on your own. And for some people that's not a big deal, but for others it really is. And so I would highly recommend just having something that you do every single day. So for me, my, well, I had multiple disciplines. I tried to make my bed every single morning, especially because it's such a small space. But I also had a journal in my Bible and I would try to read that every single day and I would write down what I was reading about. So bring a nice journal that is meant for that. And whether you want to kind of have a diet to look back on but for me personally whenever I read the Bible I write my prayers down so it's kind of like a diary to look back I can see what I was struggling with I can see the prayers that God has answered and just having that discipline really really grew me as a person whenever I went to college was whenever I really started reading my Bible every single day and I really grew in my faith all right so the next essential is a hat there are just some days where one you don't really want to be seen by people and a hat really helps with that and two your hair is gonna look terrible you roll down a bed class starts in five minutes you can throw a hat on throw some clothes on and get out the door and that's why I would highly recommend bringing a hat. Okay, my next essential is a robe. Guys, this is so key. Like having a robe, literally it makes it feel more like home. You can walk around in it and it's not as weird as you walking around in a towel. My shower was in my dorm, so it's a lot easier for me to wear a robe. I think if my shower was down the hall and there was guys and girls in my hall, I probably still wouldn't wear a robe because I think that would be weird, but it's better than a towel, okay? So highly recommend having a robe in your dorm. Okay, the next essential is Venmo. Venmo will change your life, guys. If you don't already have it, you need to get 
get it. It's just a way to pay people if you owe them money. So a lot of times I would go out to eat with my roommates and I would forget my wallet because I'm terrible at that and I would just Venmo them. Or if you split something with somebody, one person can pay and you just Venmo them. So those are all of my essentials. So now let's get into the what not to bring to college. So I think the key thing throughout all the things that I'm going to tell you is that you don't need that many multiples. This is where I wish I would have listened to what people said if I ever watched these videos because I thought you needed a million coffee mugs because, you know, I like things to be cute and variety and oh, I love this one, I love this one. You don't need them all, I promise you. So the first thing is that you do not need all your shoes. I would actually recommend bringing multiple pairs of tennis shoes over multiple pairs of nice shoes. Find a pair of shoes that you can wear with any outfit. So for me, that's my Birkenstocks. I feel like I can always wear my Birkenstocks. And then in the fall, I would bring like a pair of booties and then I would have my tennis shoes and that's really all you need. You don't need that many shoes. You don't need multiple pairs of heels because you really don't go out that much. And when you do, okay, bring one pair of heels, but you don't need a million. Okay, so my next thing that you do not need to bring to college is all of your clothes and guys I did this. I practically brought all my clothes and the reason I say this is that you don't need everything if it's not like in that current season. So everybody pretty much has to go home for Christmas so just be thinking of what you'll need from summer until Christmas and even then there's usually fall break which I would say you'll at least go home before Christmas so I would just think of that bring the things that you think you'll need until maybe fall break or something like that because coats and jackets take up a ton of space and in most college dorms you don't have that much closet space so think of the things that won't take up too much space I would also recommend bringing more t-shirts and sweatshirts than you think trust me so the next thing that you don't need to bring is all your school supplies you do not know what you need until you get your syllabus and your professor tells you so I would just wait and hold off on buying anything until you get to school now the things that you can't buy is like a planner pens pencils like the basic but I wouldn't be going out and buying binders and all of that because you may not need it and that's what I did and it was a big mistake because I never used it. Okay, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but you do not need a million mugs, okay? If you're anything like me, I drink coffee all the time, okay? Trust me, you don't need a million mugs and you don't need a million tumblers. I made that mistake and I brought so many mugs and so many tumblers and honestly, I just used my Yeti and maybe the same two or three mugs. You really, really don't need that many. Okay, my next thing, guys, I cannot emphasize this enough is you do not need all your skincare products that you own. Only bring the essentials, like if you absolutely use use four products every single night, only bring those four products. I promise you it will save you such a hassle of bringing it all and you don't need all the toiletries that are under your sink. So whenever you open up your sink at home and you probably got a million things under there, you do not need all of those. Maybe bring a lotion and that's it. Like you really, really, really don't need the stuff that you use once a month, I promise you. And that leads me into the next thing, do not bring all your hair products. Trust me on this one, okay? You only need like maybe hairspray and okay you definitely need dry shampoo like come on let's talk about that I would bring the essentials a curling iron a straightener maybe a blow dryer the next thing is you do not need to bring all your makeup you just need to bring like maybe one eyeshadow palette that has multiple colors so you can still do different looks and then bring your basic everyday makeup trust me you do not need your 10 million eyeshadow palettes if you're anything like me I have a million and you don't need all your makeup brushes and you don't need all your foundations so I just brought like a tinted moisturizer a concealer and one good foundation and I was fine. So I would really work on minimizing your products. So the next thing is that you don't need that many towels, especially if you listen to my tip and you bring a robe. Honestly, you can get away with having one or two towels. So I always use two towels when I get out of the shower, one for my hair and one for my body, and then I put on my robe. And I think you'll be fine. Having more than that will just take up way too much space because towels are super chunky. So the last things I'm going to mention that you really don't need to bring are knickknacks. You don't need a million knickknacks. And I'll talk about this in my next video. I am all for making your dorm feel like home and knickknacks do that but you don't need that many. Like minimize it and make it to where it's just enough but it doesn't feel cluttered. It is so easy to make a dorm room feel cluttered because it's so small. So I would highly recommend just, you know, bringing only the things that you absolutely feel like you need. But other than that, leave them home. So those are all of the things that I think you'll need for school and the things I think you won't need. Let me know down below if I missed anything and comment down below what year or grade you will be in if you're going to college or not. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.